Okay. So, <laughs> following on on the 10 things to enhance your life and the things that I've discovered over the last couple of years. And also following on from the fact that I was just telling you in the last video how um, my friends are always thinking on about the fact that I don't do very much work. The next one goes really well with that. So I think you should take time out, maybe an hour every day, to pamper yourself. <laughs> Now, that could be an official treatment. You could go and have your nails done or, you know, have something nice, have your hair done, have a massage, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, it could be that you go for a really nice lunch with your friends. It could be that you stay at home and you just, you know, just whatever it is that you want to do. Something that you want to do as opposed to, you know, your daily beauty routine or whatever. You know, you could have a lay-in, you know. You could just stay at home and paint your own nails, you know, whatever it is, and watch a movie or whatever, you know, just taking time out, you know, an hour, maybe two hours. You know, if you're working on the free hour principle, then you definitely have time for this. <laughs> um, you know, and just having that relax and that, you know, put some nice music on or just catch up with your mates or whatever it is, you know, having that non-guilty relaxing time. I know a lot of these business people to be productive are saying, oh, well, you should use every minute as productively as possible. But I, I truly believe that actually having your downtime makes you better in your productive time, which is probably goes against everything else. Um, and, you know, it works for me. So, yeah, so take that bit of time every single day, non-guiltily, preferably when you don't have any other commitments. You've got children, for example, so my pamper time is not when the ch children are at home. And it's not because I don't love my, my son. Um, you know, I've got two children, but one of them's off um, teaching outdoor ed across the world and has left me and I just can't go with that so we're not going to talk about but my nine-year-old who is still with me you know like I don't do my pamper time when he's there I don't do my pamper time um in any time where I've got to rush to something else either because you know I just I just want to be able to chillax see I'm getting down with the kids with that time, aren't I you know and just have a really nice time of it so yeah so take your pamper time do something go shopping go charity shopping I'm going to talk about charity shopping um I know some of the people that watch me are not UK based, um, but obviously you have some sort of, what do you call them again, junk, junk trunks, oh, I can't remember what they call them, but anyway my point is, go charity shopping, I need to do a whole video on charity shopping, I I'm going to set a charity shop challenge on that video, that would be really cool, um, but yeah, go and do something that's for yourself, go and have that nice meal, go and or a lunch or brunch or whatever it is you know even if you want to eat that cake even you know if you're eating healthy try not to do that but eat something really nice even if it fits them in your diet you know have that hour off have a lay-in you know if you've got a day that you can have a lay-in have the freaking lay-in man you know just have that time it's for you you don't have to do it on your own do it with your friend do it with your partner your significant other whoever but just take that time because honestly that time every single day it enhances your life massively enhances your life so that, tip number three, take time out of the day, an hour at least, to pamper yourself every single 